Hey guys, my name and Persona 5 is the game. Last episode, we had a hangout with us and our three, or actually, sorry, Morgana. <laughs> us and our four other friends. Uh, we all came over, we had Hot Pot, and uh, so Jiro agreed to let Yusuke stay here with us. So we, we now have a, a roommate, and yeah, he's gonna be living here permanently, it sounds like. Or at least for a while. So, uh, what else, what else? What else happened? Uh, I think we did probably, there's probably other things I just can't remember right now, but things happened. Now in this episode, we are going to continue to prepare for our next operation and hopefully figure out who our next target is going to be. Huh, okay. So... Kind of a shame that I can't put in any uh, DVDs right now or anything, but I think the only thing that we can do is probably go to bed. I'm gonna see if I can head downstairs. Nope, I have to go to sleep for the day. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, yeah, let's go to bed. Well, <laughs> what do you mean? We're not cooking you breakfast. It's funny. I mean, we don't even cook ourselves breakfast. Hello. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bombs that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Wow, that was actually a really good name that I chose for them, because, I mean, he's even referring to us as that. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. As do I. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Oh. Okay, I was about to say, what gift are you gonna give us? We're going to increase our persona stock to 10 slots? Heck yeah, I don't mind if I do. What was it, like 8 before? It's almost time. Almost time for what? For us to go? Huh, well 19%, it's getting higher and higher, that's cool. Huh, what's going on? Oh, this is university. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? Huh? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You are quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. Victims? Like, who's been a victim? You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. I like that idea. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. Huh? You have such high self-esteem. So the phantom thieves are evil and you are just? 
compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, wow, that's the first crappy thing we've heard come out of his mouth. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Huh. Why does everyone get on my case? Why do you get on ours? Okay. Maybe I should be a little bit more understanding towards her, but... I don't know. I guess I'm just annoyed. But yeah, that's interesting. I wonder um, what kind of character he's going to end up being. I catch you, that is. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. I feel like you guys are going to make a perfect match. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. So is Hero such a nice guy? Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Huh. Well, that sounds like a great idea for you. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. Yeah, no kidding. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. Ah, uh, so Zero, okay, listen. 40 episodes ago, I would not be saying this, but dang, he's a nice guy. He's been through a lot too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? Yeah, I'm kind of curious too. You never really gave us a good reason. My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. Okay, no, stop this. Stop this. Don't, no, no, no. Don't get mushy on me, Sojiro. You're supposed to say it was because of the money or something like that. Not, no. That's all. Don't get sentimental with me, old man. It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor. He must have felt something for you, too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Whoa, he actually donated the real Sayuri here? Wow. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Wow, what an honor. Thank you, Yusuke. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. Uh, <laughs> I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. Ah, uh, Yusuke. I'll come again. Oh, darn, I thought we were gonna have a new roommate. Man, I'm mad. He didn't even tell us. He just he's just gotta leave. Oh, I guess he did tell us. Oh, we were sleeping in all day? <laughs> yeah, where is Yusuke? Ah, we gotta find out the hard truth from Sojiro. Where did my roommate go? You up? Huh. For one night, wow. Sayuri. Hmm. 
Does he even know about the story behind this painting? Nope. Hey. Okay, we'll get the cat out of your hair. Aww. To our protector. <laughs> okay, remember that for next time. Wow. That's really, really a nice gift coming from him. I can't believe he left that to us. Hey, hey. Yeah, I guess that is best. But man, I was getting really excited about having a roommate. You're using our name? Oh, I've heard about that. I didn't know that they were using our name, though. I think it's a false tip. I think we should look into it. Uh, I don't know if we should do that. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, that is a terrible, terrible idea. Yeah, who would go after LeBlanc of all places, first of all, but second, this is Ojiro's business, and he's been so good to us. Like, why would we try to attract burglars, burglars to his place? I mean, what if we can't stop them? That's a horrible idea. Yeah, how did you forget something like that? I, I'm surprised to hear that you would forget about it. No, neither do I. Okay, cool. All right, well, we have some messages. We can actually spend our Sunday the way we want to, or I, like, the story's not gonna spend it for us. Uh, let's see, we have another request, and we have a message from Takemi. What else could we do on the Sunday? Nice. So the plant's doing well, that's good. Um, I could go out and work, maybe, or I could work on a social link. You know what, I think we're probably hey. going to... No, I haven't decided yet, let's not do that. Hey. No, I haven't decided yet. Let's look at that message from Mishima, and see what he said. Oh, a personal one. By the manager? Wow. That's a lot for somebody working part-time. That's a lot of money. No way! That is so crappy. 
It's gonna make some kid pay for it. Okay, cool, so we have a new thing at the hideout, part-time job, full-time hell. <laughs> I like the name for that. And how are my studies? They're going pretty well. Really? Uh... Be sure to accept Takemi's invitations until you gain her trust. Okay, yeah, let's head over immediately then. Okay, so I guess that's how we're spending our Sunday, doing clinical trials. How should we spend the evening? Maybe well, we'll study. Oh, who's that? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, yeah, we can wait. Rumors. she's gonna at least check her out. I'm not gonna forcibly put her in that situation. I'll tell her that she'll be okay. Oops. But we're just some kid. <sighs> okay. Uh, sure. Oh, so she's feeling better, really. Gosh, that's so expensive. Holy cow. Wow. <gasps> Wait, what? Okay, that just kind of went from, like, I think the equivalent of $10,000 to zero. What happened? 
Uh. Why three? <laughs> oh, I said the wrong thing. Okay. By the way. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So Kevin, you're not helping the rumors about you at all. Uh... Well... All right. At least we were able to help the little girl feel better. So can we stop? Oh, she's being so sweet. Uh oh. How are you saying this in front of a customer? Oh my gosh. Oh well. Wait, rank up? No way! Oh, we actually did it. We're staunch now. Oh wait, I think that means we, that we can open up the bag uh, over at the airsoft shop. No way! All right. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to level up so soon. I guess I have been working on it a lot recently, Hi. but gosh, that was quick. A lot quicker than the first rank up. Well, sweet. Exciting stuff. Ah, you're back. Hello. Wow, uh, there's been like a lot of like story events happening recently, like, I mean, a lot of, you know, conversations and a lot of things that have been happening. I, I think the story is about to take a turn here soon. Yeah, that is kind of sudden. Where have you been? Do you think he would? I think that probably just strengthened his resolve. Okay. Hey. Oh yeah, I finally do have the guts for it. I can finally call Kawakami. The Kosei Queen. You got them. Okay, well. Let me see what these messages are first before I decide to call Kawakami. Yeah, we did. No way. Awesome. Sweet, glad to hear. Let's hear about her too. Oh wow. She treated us like pigs, I think I liked it. She was annoying. She did treat us like pigs, but I think I did like being able to help her out. No! <laughs> okay. Yeah. There could be. I don't know. Time will tell. So, we could either hang out with Sojiro a little bit more, or we can call over Kawakami. Oh, but the bond will get stronger soon if we do. I don't know if I can pass that up. We've been working for that for a while. I think I just gotta help him out. Yeah. Alright. It's been a long time coming. Alright then. The grind, the heat, and the time. Medium fine. Cool. Hey, understood. Mm -hmm.
Sorry. Wait, who is that? Is it a date? I don't think it's that. You want- you don't want my help anymore? No, is it trouble? that cool wake up it probably was a date that he's going to but All right. oh well the rest is on you all right well have fun on your date seeing a few surprised that's all it was I don't know the last time we hung out with him it was like I was more eventful than that I don't know we had that guy come in and that was never explained but this time it's just kind of like oh I gotta go Oh, it's kind of helpful having you around. Thanks. <laughs> you know. Hi. Whoa. Uh. I'm not bad. How about you? Hmm. Yes. Sure, but gosh, man, that's kind of dangerous of us to get involved with him. I mean, aren't, doesn't, uh, aren't we as the protagonist suspect, suspecting of the fact that he's wanting to talk to us so much? Ugh, kids these days. Hirobumi Ito? Government, the Bank of Japan, the Children's Bank, a credit union. Hmm. The Children's Bank, that doesn't sound real. The government sounds... I don't know, like a really cop-out answer. I'm gonna say the credit union? <laughs> uh... Oh, gosh, this seems like a dumb answer. Okay, like a give me. <sighs> well, we kind of did get a lot of money from exploring palaces, so I mean, I'm kind of satisfied with what we got. Uh, Listen. Oh no. Lost item. Uh, I don't want to? I know who Najima is. I don't understand though. Jeez. kind of curious what does she want from us well let's see do I want to be mean and have a cliffhanger or do I want to go ahead and show that to you guys before I end off the episode ah, we're probably around 30 minutes right now uh, cliffhanger to, to be nice or to be cliffhanger esque well first of all I love this picture of a, of a catchy right here that's that's pretty cool uh, I guess we'll, I, I guess we, we won't have another cliffhanger. I guess we'll go and see what it is that she wants. Third floor next to the library. Hmm. 
I think that she's going to... Okay, bold prediction right here. She's going to come up to us and she's going to say, I know you guys are the Phantom Thieves, but I want to help. That's my call. But let's see what exactly it is that she's going to say. So the library is over here on the left, I believe. Hmm? Is this it? Yep. Yeah, it is. I mean, us getting called here? Probably never a good sign. Huh. Earlier than expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. Uh-oh. She's gonna show us evidence she has. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Oh my god. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? Uh-oh. We screwed up. Uh. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Uh, no, no idea. Not sure what you mean. I don't know, ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. It really would be. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. Really? What would you have to gain if just you simply knew the truth? You'll tell me, won't you? I have the right to be silent? Let me think about it. Nope, I have the right to be silent. I'm not saying anything. That's the same as admitting to it, you know? No, it is not. Wait, who's texting us? <laughs> I was like, hold up, I gotta check my phone really Go quick. Ahead. Thank you, I will. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's move to the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. Oh, Ryu, jeez. Stop. That idiot. Ugh. As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. Ryuji. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. <sighs> okay, wait, are we gonna take her to the hideout? Well, I guess the hideout's just a spot that we can change, but still. Oh. Oh gosh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to storm. What's happening? Oh. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. <sighs> it's true. I mean, do you not believe it? I... I know. Then why are you continuing? Huh? 
That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. Whoa. What? I called it. I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. Uh. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. I still don't feel comfortable. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. Yeah, no kidding. So, what are we gonna do? You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Well, to be fair, we caught Odd's voice as well. Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. This is true, I mean, we gotta put this in perspective. We could just be some kids who decided to call our little group the Phantom Thieves because we're big fans. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Exactly. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Very true. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. Yep. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes, it's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. And be more stealthy. I've been saying this, this entire game that we're being way too lax with how we're talking. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, we doing this? Yeah, it's our only choice. We have to. All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. Yeah, people would wonder why we have you there. What could she be scheming? I don't know, I think, I think that she really i think a part of her really wants to root for us and she knows it's in her power to let us go and because it's in her power she wants to do the right thing herself whether that is to turn us in or to let us go i don't think she's a bad person i think she's a good guy i just still don't like her <laughs> like i don't think we're supposed to like her and i don't oh it's a rainy season cool Yeah. Oh, wait a moment. Wait a darn moment. Kobayakawa was all like, Okay, Makoto, you need to figure out how to handle the whole, like, burglar situation on your own because I'm too caught up with other matters. Ha 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 ha. Right? So, she's taken that on her own shoulders to take care of the scam of how her students are being scammed. The students at Shujin are being scammed. So, she's viewing this as a, I guess, you know, I don't, I, I guess not two birds, one stone, but to her, that's the real problem. And she wants to see to it that it is solved. So she seems like actually a really good student body president to me. Uh, yeah, I wonder who it is. I'm a chef what else should I be? Don't take off my mask, revealing dark. No, but sometimes you do let your emotions get the best of you. 
Anywho, yeah. That's that's what I think. I think she's gonna say my students are being scammed and I want you to stop it. And our deadline is if we don't do it in time, then she's gonna turn us in. Yeah, we should. But I think we're gonna wait until the next episode to see what happens. So next time let's play episode five. We will meet up with Najima and see exactly what kind of deal she's wanting to crack. Thank you to my patrons, William Nintendo Black Crisis, <laughs> Crisis, Crisis, Joseph from Joe Bro Show, and you had dad. I've been Kimrani, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye, guys. Heart in both face and mind, all free for you to draw. I'm a chef shifter.